Hi everyone, today is going to be my March favourites video and I promise I haven't tricked you with the title and thumbnail. I am going to be doing this video with Rich, but I'm going to bring him in for the second half of this video because I have quite a lot of beauty favourites to talk through and I thought if he's just sitting here like really bored while I talk about my favourite concealer it's just going to be weird. So I'm going to bring him in at the end and we're going to talk through some of our joint favourites and some of his monthly favourites as well so stay tuned to the end to see that. But I have lots of favourites to go through this month so I'm going to start with hair because I've got quite a few hair products that I've been absolutely loving. First of all, shampoo and conditioner. I've completely changed up my shampoo and conditioner recently. I finally tried the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo, so it's good for when you have product buildup. So when your hair's feeling really greasy, which, oh, but by the way, disclaimer, my hair is so greasy today. It's Sunday because it's the only day I can film with Rich. So my hair desperately needs washing tonight and it's tied up, it looks ridiculous. So apologies there. I will definitely be using this tonight. It's really good if your hair feels like it never actually gets clean after you wash it. It just feels greasy all the time. So I use a little bit of this. I put off trying this for a long time because I thought it would be really drying on my already very dry and frizzy hair, but it's not at all. It's, it's not drying, it's just great. Completely takes your hair back to normal doesn't feel greasy and I've been using that with the living proof conditioner I do have the shampoo of this as well but I've just been using this this is a really nice conditioner it's part of their frizz free range it smells a bit like a keratin treatment which makes me think it has some kind of straightening qualities in it it's a space in K brand I think it's co-owned by Jennifer Aniston actually so I really like this definitely worth the investment for me I've also been using the Sasha Schwann I don't know how to pronounce this it's the leave-in conditioner I've had this in my bathroom for years now and I just never got around to trying it because I was using the Unite 7 Seconds, I had a few other kind of conditioning products but Susie from Hello October loves this so I thought oh, I'm going to give it a go, it's really really nice, I spray it into my kind of damp hair, brush it in, it's a leave-in conditioner so it really nourishes the hair, it makes it very soft and shiny as well and makes it easier kind of to brush through so I really like this as well, I think it's a all natural brand as well. It's from Stockholm. I may have made that up though. I couldn't do my monthly favourites without mentioning the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I won't talk too much about it because I speak about it in pretty much every video. This has taken over my nails concealer. I absolutely love it. I love the applicator. It's very long and bendy. I know that sounds awkward but it is. And you only need like one dip to do your whole face. So it's really easy to use. I use the shade Light Neutral. There is a lighter shade that I'd probably go for next time. I love this. It's £17.50 as well. So compared to the NARS one which is £22 £2, it is a little bit more affordable. I've been wearing more spring type fragrances recently as we kind of come out of winter finally and head into spring and the two that I've been going in between are both from Jo Malone. One is Wood Sage and Sea Salt which I love. It smells like the seaside, it's very fresh. It really reminds me of kind of last summer when I went to Brighton with Rich, Anna and Mark and it kind of brings back good memories of that. And also Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay which is very different to the normal scents that I wear. It's quite sweet but Again, quite a nostalgic smell. It's got blackberry in there and it's it's just kind of a delicious smell. So I wear that on extra sunny days. The lipstick I'm wearing today is from the new Chanel range and it's Coco. I've spoken about these a lot as well recently. I've really, really been loving them. The three shades I love the most are Arthur, Coco and Adrienne. They are so, so super moisturising. Adrienne is just the best nude. I used it in my monthly makeup routine and I love it. They're just very easy to wear. You can either pat them in quite lightly or you can layer them up and make more of a bold colour. Cutter? colour but they're very easy to wear, very moisturising. I really really recommend them. I've been keeping this in my handbag for the past two months and I really like it. It's from Ciate and it's the beautiful cuticles marula oil cuticle care and it's just a little cuticle pen because I find that my nails are so flaky and dry and it's because the actual nail beds are really dry so this is just a little pen you wind up at the bottom and it just has like some oil in it and it's really I just like to put on my cuticles when I'm bored when I'm on the tube whenever I remember really and it does help really nourish my nails and stop all the flaking and drying my next favorite is a mascara I use this in my monthly makeup routine as well it's from Rimmel it's the extra 3d lash I just kind of picked this up on a whim when I was in Boots recently and I do really like it. As I said in my makeup routine video, it's very similar to Benefit Roller Lash. It's got one of those plastic brushes. It's really good for length, um, not so much for volume, but on a Sunday like today I like to have quite natural lashes but I still like the length and kind of separation in the lashes. This is really nice. I really like the packaging randomly. It's just a good affordable mascara. Yeah, one to add to my drugstore list. Okay, one more favourite from me. I have a couple others but I'm going to do them with Rich when he joins me in a minute. This is from Monica Venado or Veneda. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a beautiful jewellery brand. This is a little box I have and it's a ring I've had from her for a month or so now and I really really like it. You may have seen me wearing it in videos. 
It's a very delicate little, I think it's rose gold, it's got a little kind of moonstone. I really like how the ring sits and it's just, I mean, I think this was like the smallest size and it still only fits my middle finger. I have such tiny fingers, it's such a pain. But I really like wearing it um, on my middle finger. I think it's very delicate, very my style. And I've been absolutely loving this for the past couple of months. I keep forgetting to mention it anyway. I'm going to keep that ring on. And I think I'm going to bring Rich into the video now. So let's see what favourites. He's been keeping a list on his phone. He's really into this video. So let's see what favourites he's been loving recently. Okay, Rich is here now. And he's so tall that I can't hide my frizzy hair with the top of the frame anymore. So now you're just going to see my full-on Sunday frizzy hair. But Sunday frizz. Yeah, we thought we'd do the monthly favourites together this year. This year? This, this month. Year. Because... Rich has quite a few favourites. He's into his beauty, but there's also lots of non-beauty favourites as well. So, should we talk about the things that we've both been liking? Okay. So I've got them here. Oh, yeah. These are shower products that I thought they were mine, but they're, they're very quickly becoming empty, and I think there's a reason why. You like these as well, don't you? Yep. Okay, so the first one's the Body Shop Smoky Poppy Shower Gel. Looks like this. I really like this because... Why do you like it? It's black. Okay. It's a black shower gel. How cool is that? Yeah. Mm. I just really like this. We've, both, we've literally nearly finished. We've both been using it. Do you like it? Yeah. Well, I like the smell. And the smell stays with me throughout the day. It, is, it has got quite a smoky, <laughs> masculine smell. Did you use it this morning? No. This is something else. It has got quite a masculine smell, but I think it's ladies will like it as well. It's just a good one. There's yeah. not often that many body shop products I like, but we've both been enjoying this. I would actually repurchase that. I'd get another yeah. one. I'd get a, do they do it bigger? No, I don't think so. Or like, the only problem I didn't like... The packaging. Can I talk about this? Yeah. That it's really hard to, I had to keep it, we had to hold it like that the whole time. Yeah, it's really annoying. And so it was really annoying to sort of get everything out. And I, there's still bits in there. Yeah, it's oh my stupid God. packaging. The next one is from Origins. This is a new product. Yeah. Uh, this is the Clear Improvement Detoxifying Charcoal Body Scrub. So you know the Clear Improvement mask they have? This is for the shower. So it's like a black charcoal scrub. And I bought this home for you because, yep. do you mind me saying this, Rich sometimes gets like spots on his back and having using a scrub like this is really good for that. Yeah. If you like, well, especially like because when you work out and do, like you wear, especially at the moment in the winter time, you're wearing like um, thermals. Yeah. And then you've got your bag on top and it just like irritates my skin so much. So sweat, yeah. So all the sweat just builds up and stays there. So this is actually really good. What I like is it just keeps my skin moisturised. Yeah. And it's it really a, feels it's like it's clean. clean feeling, but yeah. still moisturised, not stripped. Yeah, it's not like, like sometimes I get out and I'm like stiff yeah. from other products. Where this actually makes me feel like, oh, I feel quite loose. Okay, <laughs> so that's a good one, I think, for <laughs> girls and guys. Um, let's talk about your favourite um, aftershave, is that what they call it? Or do you call it perfume? Um, Fragrance? No, uh, Eau de Parfum. But Eau de Parfum. So I got, so was it, the last, this last sort of couple of months, I've been sort of trying to find, well basically... No, oh, you've used this for like a year. Yeah, no, but I had, to, when I repurchased it, Yeah. I was going around everywhere looking for it and like trying out new ones, and because I wasn't sure, I wanted to try them So I got to understand a bit more about Eau de Perfume and Eau de Toilette. What's the difference? That Eau de Toilette is just like stinks. <laughs> is it stronger? It's strong. I don't even know if I know. It is, it's weird. It's strong at, to, at, to start with and then it gets like, then it just goes. And you feel all water and you just feel like you've just, you know when you go into a club and you come out the toilet and they sprayed all that crap on you? Yeah. You feel like that. Okay, so Eau, he's a fan of the Eau de Parfum. Yeah, what is so it? this is my favourite at the moment. Chanel Le Bleu. Yeah. Uh, you've, worn, you've worn this for like over a year, but you've just got a couple the big of years one. now. Yeah. yeah. So I've just got the big one. You smell it? It's really it's good. It's a good investment. It is it's like. a nice scent. If you're looking for a new scent for your boyfriend, this is what Rich wears. It's good. Because it's good for during the day and in the evening as well. Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice magnetic lid. Yeah. And it lasts. So I, I actually use the smaller version, which is. What's, this is 100ml, so 50ml. Yeah. 50ml lasts me for 8 to, eight to 12 months. Really? Because you only need two, two sprays. There. So you get a strong smell. And there. <laughs> They're the key points. Why for when you kiss people? Hello. Yeah, because you go like that. Like that. And then they get the smell. <laughs> That's the true point. Or in the hair. They okay. make it last longer. Okay. okay, right, go. Next. So this kills facial fuel SPF 15 energizing moisturizer treatment for men. Bang. Done. <laughs> You've gone through like three of these. I think this is the third one. Yeah. Um, why it's why do you insane. like it? It's bottomless. This is, I've had this for about a year now, and it's, look, it's still going. I don't want to, because I don't want to waste it. But it's still going. I don't understand. It's like feeding off the 5,000, I keep thinking, every time I use it. It's like, it just keeps coming out. But I like it because I sometimes, I get, in the, in the afternoons, I get quite like an oily skin. Or like quite, yeah, it's oily, is it? You start to feel quite greasy. Yeah, you? greasy. 
But this, when I use this, it doesn't really happen because one, it makes my skin feel quite nice and sort of not tight, but like, like kind of rejuvenates it a bit in the mornings after I wash my face or in the evenings. But then also I don't get that shiny face when I'm in the afternoons. And you like not to use much. an SPF, don't you? Yeah. Adds a bit because of Because I, I told him it would protect his skin when he's older. Yeah. It doesn't add a tan. Does it not? I always thought it's just like help and give him a tan. Because I'm no, like, SPF I've got is like sun cream. Yeah, I know, but it still has like sort of some... No. Okay. I think we've got some non-beauty stuff here as well yeah. now. They're my two core essential beauty things. We've got These. some jeans here. I thought this would be handy for any kind of boyfriends who are looking for some style tips. So... Right, so wait, let's explain first. Rich has a big bum and thighs. Like, yep. if you're going to look at body shape, he's got quite short legs, he's got a long torso, but he's got quite big bum and thighs, and they're quite muscly. So it's quite hard to find jeans and trousers that <laughs> well fit. Well done, you saved, <laughs> saved it. Saved yeah, it, yeah, not you fat saved bum, it. You're like, muscly it's bum. got short legs, <laughs> big ass. No, but it's true that jeans are always, like, style at the moment is just super skinny, and they never fit. They're like, if they're tight at the bottom, then they're too tight at the uh, top. Yeah. But so they're not like, tapered. I've got a normal waist as well. It's a pain. Like a 34 waist. So, so kind of... the fact that he's found something that works is a miracle. Yeah. It saved me on weekend. So these are... So these are the Uniqlo jeans and they are... Slim fit. Silhouette. And they're tapered. Yeah. And they're, they're low rise and you're 34 inch waist. Yeah. Well, 33... Oh, it depends what jean, what brand it is yeah. really. But these are like nice and tapered at the bottom so I can wear them like trainers and shoes. It looks good. But also they've got a bit of a, just like a nice stretch yeah i can feel like these are like those tights like jeggings but they're not yeah but they've got a little like bit of stretch it, to them they've so. got a bit of stretch but they look and they come in different sort of shades oh, i'm yeah. so happy he's finally found jeans that fit Thank and they're cheap as well yeah but they are cheap they're like 25 pounds 25 quid Amazing. and they last me again a year because you bought nudie jeans in the past yeah i bought nudie jeans they're i've so gone through some nudie lee wrangler diesel and they just, they go yeah. within six months. Rip. So it's worth spending a bit less. That's how I feel about Topshop jeans. Yeah, okay, next favourite. These, they're a bit dirty, are the Nike Free Runs 5.0s. Oh, someone amazing must have bought those for you. I know, who? <laughs> I got this rich for his birthday when I was in New York. You may have seen in my New York vlogs. It's because they've kind of got like a nice thin sole, but not too thin, not like that uh, free running sort of stuff. Uh, no, they are thin. They're, yeah, but they're not they're too not, close to the ground. Yeah, they're so light, like they're like feather. They're just so comfy and I can wear them with like jeans and shorts. They and, still look quite smart because they're black. Yeah, they're just universal and they're just so comfy. I, I feel like every time I wear them, I feel like I can just bounce. That's <laughs> so what I feel like, you're walking on clouds. Yeah, and I told a couple of my mates about these and then they got them and they were like, they came up to me and they're like bouncing, they're like, it's so right. You do literally like feel like you're bouncing. You just we, want to bounce everywhere. We have like matching trainers. We look ridiculous on weekends when we yeah. have matching trainers. Okay, next. This is more for the fitness lovers out there, which is yeah. definitely not me, but. <laughs> so, because I do quite, well, not recently, but I do sort of triathlon training and do triathlons and sort of some sports like that, cycling, running. Um, I got this watch and it's the TomTom Tom watch. And it's basically, I can't remember what number it is. TomTom Tom something. But anyway, you could, there's only like, one version of this so you know what it is and it's amazing i've gone through a couple of different types of watches like garments and this is just amazing because it's got the heartbeat monitor on it which i never really believe in heartbeat monitors unless you're like an extreme professional or you're you know you need to understand what level of heart rate you need to train in but for day-to-day -day training and just general use for like triathlons and running and cycling it's amazing because it monitors your heart rate it also it's got GPS, instant like GPS, and it's really quick, and it captures um, captures you straight away. It's, it's just it's got all the features. It's so easy to do. It's just like a little screen. You have it on a bike, and it comes out with this as well. It literally it will. Oh, so you can just clip that onto your bike or something. Yeah. So you buy like a. So that's that's the core thing, and you can buy the accessories for it. And I'm guessing you can buy different versions of these to make it if you don't want red and white. So my other fitness thing is my roller, which is amazing. So it's like this. Rollers are the best thing. If you're struggling with stretching or just anyway, just get a roller because it really gets the, into the knots. It really Explain sort of... Explain how you use it. For people who don't know what this is, what do you do with it? Okay, so you'd have it on the floor and say you use it on your... You can use it all on your body um, and then you basically roll on your like calf or... So you lie, lie, on your, lie on it and then you just sort of roll forwards on it and it just literally like manipulates, so it's like massages, yeah really good for stretching it gets rid of those aches it gets rid of those knots it's yeah it's just really good cool last one my coffee cup <laughs> it is flat white size i love flat whites we bought this from the coffee festival yeah and it's called a keep cup um and it's 
just perfect for flat whites. I use it for work every day and it's so got nice little... The cafe in his office, when you take your own cup, you get a discount. And a lot of coffee shops, I think, do that, Starbucks and places. So that's why he has his own cup, basically. Yeah. You get a discount on coffee. Yep. Yeah. So it's the good. environment. Yeah. It's a bit like a kid's cup. <gasps> it's a bit like a kid's cup. Okay, so those are all our monthly favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Rich in this video and hearing about all the products that he loves. And let me know if your boyfriends or partners have ever got any good tips from this. See you in my next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye!